Okay. Okay, so first off, I want to say, holy shit! It remembered where I was, even though I've been cleaning my computer a few times. In between Let's Plays, I clean my computer because my computer is all, Hey man, you're running out of memory! But if you clean me, you'll get some of that memory back. And I'm like, hey computer, there's like 80 gigabytes of you that's just that Metroid video I'm working on. Fuck off! But my computer ain't down with that. So I clean my computer, and it remembered my, uh, my save anyway. So previously, we finished Act 1. And now it is years in the future, but not many. So, let's get down to business. A wayward vagabond records a stuttering step in the sun-bleached dust. It looks like there's a thing here. Ah, uh, let's see. Open in a new tab. Get the tab. Dun dun. Dun 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 dun. Dun dun dun. Dun dun. dun. Maybe I shouldn't be humming the Jaws thing. Anyway. Act 2! Game Facts. Esper Beta Walter. Do I have to read this? Hold on. Uh, I think I have to read this. Caveats and condolences. I'd be inclined to dispense with the trite, even under less pressing, pressing circumstances. Needless to say, I'll forego the inscrutable ASCII banner, which typically heralds the striking freefall of these documents. I'll also resist the urge to brandish any copyright marks or the particular neurosis that concerns itself with the theft of the utterly mundane. I'll allow other deranged prospectors to state claims on their worthless plots as the woods burn around them. My introduction will be sparse. There will be no majestic prose blustering into the sails of a galleon as we embark on this voyage together, nor will there be any ham-fisted prose whipping its limbs under a bedsheet, like a retarded ghost for that matter. I won't set the stage or dim the lights, the mood you see will be set soon enough. Yeah. Oh, right. Release me! Since you are reading this, chances are you have installed this game on your computer already. If this is true, like many others, you have just participated in bringing about the end of the world. But don't beat yourself up about it. There was never anything you could have done to prevent it. The end is happening right now, as I type, and as you read. I have come to understand that we were always doomed through our collective ignorance, and now further doomed by those few who know and struggle to flee. If you're lucky, you'll be among the smaller subset of the latter who are successful. What I mean is, while that game you installed is just one more grinding slab of rock sealing our planet's crypt, it is also your only hope to live. I am presently faced with the same conundrum as you, and though I speak with more experience, my own outcome is far from assured. I will play the game, as much of it as, I, as there is to play, and record my findings here. If you want to live, you will do as I instruct. My condolences, Tuta. Bless now. Fasha. That is one lucky car. Moving on. The Colonel divides. The two halves go their separate ways, leaving behind the sprite portion. You! You! Boy! What is left of the sprite undergoes a mysterious transformation. For a moment, you thought you heard someone say, Boy! as if whispered in the periphery of your awareness. Boy! It was probably just your imagination, though. Oh, it's a flash again. You there, boy! Oh, alright. To walk around, use the mouse, arrow keys, or western keys. 
equipped with various objects to open command menus for them. Outstanding flash programming by Alex Gangrel Bates Bagester. Bagester. I'm sorry, Alexis, I can't say your name for shit. I apologize, but it's been like some years now, and you probably won't know that I butchered the holy hell out of your name. Okay. The last time I did this, I didn't do it completely, apparently. I missed all of the references that I didn't actually know yet. What's that? It looks different now. After you bit that apple, your whole house seemed to be transported somewhere. Then the apple disappeared and the colonel started it with a transformation. Aside from the change in appearance, the transformation doesn't seem to have had any relevant ramifications. You still can't understand a word this idiot says. What's this shit? This large platform! Good grief! What is it for? The Alchemite heard created the apple, or the tree that sprouted it rather, right on time to save you from destruction. You're not sure if you can say the name for your say the same for your neighborhood though. You wonder what happened to your dad. Wait, can I click on 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 Kick over the railing? Getting close to the railing makes you a little nervous. It's a long way down. God damn it, I'm trying to click on the thing. Examine the strange blue face! It's a piece of the crux site you carved with the totem link. When its contours were scanned, the alchemy turtle was able to produce that tree. How odd. Open the door and walk through it, boy. That man with the humor spectacles, admire him. Oh, Michael Sarah, your warm smile is a shining beacon in these dark times. What is down there? Proceed, boy! I am not fond of this smug fellow, the man, the myth, the legend. What do you have up your sleeve there, Anderson? Look at that poker face, he's not telling a soul. What's in here? Go in there now! It's the bathroom! Your plumbing appears faulty. Man, Rose did such a piss poor job fixing the bathroom, it would almost certainly be a mistake to try to use the toilet. You guess you could just pee over the edge of the cliff. Ew. Your plumbing up here. Oh, it's the same thing. The shower seems alright, though. Shaving cream? Oh, I can't click it. Look out the window! Yeah, through that window. At least your backyard was salvaged, too. Sort of. Hey, wait, wait. Maybe I want to click the swing. Oh, okay. You there, boy! What? Leave at once! What's in this one? Open this! Your dad's room is still locked. Do, 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 do. No, go back. Wait, uh, what's in here? Boy! Go, uh. The ghost clown, do something with it. The ghost clown is called a Colonel Sprite. Or rather, just Sprite now, I suppose. You can't do something with it at the moment. The only thing you can theoretically do is it's t is tier 2 prototype it. Assuming that's still possible. Box. Observe this box. The bunny is not in the box! I said, the bunny is not in the box! Why couldn't the bunny be in the box? Anyway. Oh, I can't click on the cards. Acquire this small Persian rug. It's a towel, dumbass! It will probably come in handy for cleaning up this weird mess in your room. Nah, not that that's a huge priority, though. Marvel at this adventure in outer space! This movie is... Okay, this movie's really bad. Not even you can defend it. You've been meaning to take this poster down, actually. What's this one? Armed foes of the deceased? Most people say the second one was just not as cool as the first. But you feel just the opposite. It was really cool and sort of gross how they hosed each other down with slime that made people angry. TG refers to this film as Nasty Man Bro Bukake Theater, whatever the hell that means. <sighs> Boy, look through this window. At least your tire swing remains unmolested. A tree without a tire swing is like... Like a house without a surrounding neighborhood, you guess. Oh yeah, it's the uh... This huge sewing machine, of what use is it? The punch cards seem to contain the instructions for carving a totem of a certain shape. You guess maybe other punch cards will produce different shapes? It bears further explanation. Okay, already... Here, prototype the sprite, or the thing you said. Do it! You are not the one who was supposed to prototype it! The Esperb server user is supposed to do that. Okay, I guess we don't get to... 
Hey, it's the book. This funny man text, you should ignore it. Just looking at the cover cracks you up. What a great book. Harry Anderson is your hero. Mike Cavaney's glowing treatment of the man does him every bit of justice. You'll have to give this another read soon. And then he never gave. A computer was happening. Investigate this device! John, are you there? It seems you are still connected to the internet. Rose is trying to get in touch with you. You'll reply in a moment once you will fully access, assess the situation. Examine this unpleasant fluid. What is this? This door. Explain this. Rose sure did a number on your house, but you guess she did manage to save your life. You guess. Inspect this ghastly man and his boy. Fred Savage has a punchable face your ass. More like a talented young actor's face who y you would want to hang out with if you got the chance, and also if he were not a fully grown man now. Anyway, the thought of monsters lurking in your house scares the shit out of you, which is why this movie is so awesome. But the fact that those monsters could also be your best friend is what makes it doubly awesome! Gotta move this table. Ah! My leg! Okay, can I, can I just, can I, can I, okay. No. Shut up. I detest this! Disregard it? The Harlequin painting? You have the sentiment in common with John, then, I guess. No, 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 no! Keep moving! Okay. Believe me, you have no intention of turning your head to observe the dreadful thing. Vile! Pay no attention to this filth! What is he even doing here? Playing with a ball or something? Clowns are stupid. Why does this small man stand here? This Harlequin is always ready to serve you with illumination, whether you're reading a book or just enjoying a nice pipe. Yeah. What is the meaning of this rubbish? Okay, even you have to admit, this was pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> a small dessert tray? Useless. In retrospect, it was pretty funny when your dad pied you like that. Gotcha! Gotcha again by the old man. Use this to reseal that opening there. If only putting the lid back on the crux trudar would undo all that's all it's done. Alas, Pandora's tube has been opened. Move this absurd edifice and exit your house, boy. This thing weighs a ton. You'd be uh, you'd honestly be surprised if the game cursor could lift it, or at least not without a significant expense of grist. Of all the places for Rose to drop the infernal thing, more than ever you feel. What's the word you're looking for? Ah, of course, house trapped. The fire went out. Stow a lump of soot for future use. That stuff is really dirty, you don't want it. Besides, you'd have it on good authority that a significant portion of it is comprised of asbestos. And that's no good. Topple this urn immediately. That would be disrespectful to your nana. You just won't do it. Or not intentionally, at least. You consider that it is, an unfor is fortunate she's no longer around to witness this sorrow. On the other hand, she will probably benefit from her elderly wisdom now. Oh, you would. It's another one! Ugh, no. So coy, so mysterious. Wield these instruments of combat! Any one of these things will make a fine weapon, if only your strife specimens wasn't already allocated. Oh well. Destroy these diminutive soldiers of merriment! It hardly seems worth, th worth it to go to the bother. Bother. You doubt you could get much for them at a garage sale, even. Maybe a grubby palm of pennies and a kick in the nuts for the whole lot of them. What's in the kitchen? This way! Through the doors like you see in a cowboy saloon! Well, first we're gonna go this way. Here, boy! And here! This is a mess, boy! You are so glad your dad wasn't watching when you did this, he never would've let you hear the end of it. The fuck is this? Inspect this merry band of performers! Cirque du Soleil once filed a restraining order against your father. You were never so embarrassed in your life. Operate this instrument! Oh! It's the shit music. By Malcolm Brown and Kevin Regani. Regani? Regan? Regan? Game? Whatever. You play your favorite haunting refrain. Is it just gonna keep happening now? Disregard this nonsense! Your dad used this stuff sometimes in passing with his silly but brilliant experience. Really, you couldn't roll your eyes hard enough in this horny act. That's 
Kasum Nuts. You would, but you're not sure if this dark room has any muffins. This man is an imbecile. Ignore him! It's alright. Looks like he doesn't take himself too seriously and knows how to have a good time. You can only assume your dad hung it crooked to make it look more whimsical. Throw this ugly thing out the window! You will not do that intentionally! You only resort to throwing stuff out the window by a silly mismanagement. Yeah. this iron vault, boy! You don't know the combination! Seek the ridges he guards below! This one offers a friendly wave, but yeah, this is really just another stupid Turned in the large room with the gross paintings. Hmm. Plunder chest. Would you like to play a game? Until I read Problem Sleuth, I thought that was a Saw reference, and then found out it was a Problem Sleuth reference, but then the comic made a Saw reference many times. Sniff the vegetable. Doesn't smell like anything. This book is too young, too big. Yes, the book is young. This book is too big for a young, stupid boy. Colonel Sassacres is your favorite book, almost as favorite as Wise Guy. They are both your favoriteest of all time. What's all this shit? Examine this smeared substance. Is this oil? You wonder what happened in here. Where's your dad? Peak and bowl of goo. Wherever your dad went, he seems to have left in a hurry. For all his absurdities you have to put up with, you sure wish he were here right now. Examine this artwork. Your dad was so proud when he drew this, he hung it up immediately and it stayed there ever since. That was one week ago. Open this door now! Oh! It's no time for laundry! You're right, thank you for being so sensible about it. Open these and rifle through them for good. You don't give a shit about what's in there. Probably nothing you'd be inclined to use anyway. Exit, boy. Oh. Boy, engage these mangle trap he's displayed. Looks like your swing set is toast. You relive long memories in a moment of sorrow. Longer lawn amusement. Your childhood nemesis, the spring-mounted pogo ride. Sadly, was not swallowed by the boy. It will have to wait another day for its comeuppance. That's, that's safe. Fiddle with the bright sparkly things, that sounds incredibly dangerous. John sensibly disregards your own advice. Yeah. It's a tree? With handcuffs on it? Playing the dangly tree bubble. The trick handcuffs are still there, thank god. And no, you're not about to try to claim them just now. What's over here? Oh, it's a piece of this thing. What's outside of the house for you? Another tree. Oh, the sound of it. Back into the house with you! I think I found everything so I can move on. Boy, quit all this scurrying around! For the last time, that boy's name is John! Fine. John! Return to your quarters! Wanna work with me on this internet? Alright then. 
You go back up to your bedroom, tiptoeing around this weird petroleum-based sludge. Now, John, respond to your friend unit! John? Are you there? The tentacle therapist is now an idle chum. Hey, yeah, I'm here! And not dead, I think. I know, I've been watching you scramble through the house like a lunatic. You should have answered me sooner. Oh man, sorry, I was looking around for my dad and I can't find him anywhere. Have you seen him? No, I'm sure he'll turn up. We have more important things to address right now. Yeah, like, where I- where am I? I don't know that either, but I've determined your neighborhood was destroyed by the meteor. Wherever you were transported, it saved you from the impact. I've been reading reports in the news. Over the last few days, there have been many smaller meteor collisions with people's homes around the world. And they seem to be getting bigger. Yours was the biggest they've identified so far. Wow, okay. So then I guess if this is all the game's doing, then what point is there for us to save the world? Or the point is for us to save the world? Perhaps. Then we better get moving and figure this game out! Yes, but wait, we should retrieve your PDA. Yet again. It will help t to keep tabs on each other while you investigate. I think I can get you closer to it if I can replenish our grist somewhat. There may be a way to recycle some that we already used. Okay. I'll meet you out on the balcony. Wait, Rose, one thing! What? You never even wished me a happy birthday, uh, hello? I was working on something to send you, but I was running late with it. I didn't want you to think I believed meager well wishes alone would suffice for the occasion. That said, happy birthday, John. Ha! <laughs> oh jeez, that's silly. Anyway, thanks! First, take the fabric item on the floor there! The towel? Why? Oh well, you're the boss. You capture log the towel. What now? Do as the purple sex says! To the balcony! John makes his way to the balcony, as per your awkwardly worded request. Wait! Take that! The blue wobbly thing! You whimsically decide to capture log the totem which was used to create the apple tree earlier. John, recycle the grist as was dictated by your cohort. You, John cannot do anything with the grist as of this moment, and it's up to the Esper player. I see. Yes, that will suffice. Rose deletes the perfectly generic object. Six units of build grist are restored to your grist cast. Rose expends the grist to drag a new plank from the balcony in the in the direction of the PDA. John, run across precarious platform swiftly. John isn't sure about that. It's a long way down. Boy, I said make haste on the narrow catwalk. John is very nervous about the idea, and the strident tone of your commands is starting to make him a little upset. Fine. Proceed as your level of comfort dictates. Do, 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 do. You cautiously walk within range of the PDA. Rose retrieves it. Now take it! You grab the PDA, launching one of the Harlequin figurines into the night. You can kiss that one goodbye. Just one arrow command will suffice, thanks. It looks like you're not the only one trying to locate your father after the disaster. These boring men are uninteresting! John, are you okay? You seem a bit tentative. I'm fine, I guess. Since I got here, I feel compelled to do these weird things I don't really want to do. By some kind of voice that I can't even really hear? I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain. Perhaps the early symptoms of an anxiety disorder, like post-traumatic stress? Yeah, maybe. Who knows? Well, if you can pull yourself together, there are a few more things we should try, like prototyping the kernel sprite again if possible. We should hurry, my laptop battery won't last forever. Okay, I'll go back inside. No, don't do that! Hop off this ledge onto that car! What? No, that sounds incredibly dangerous! Arrow, 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 arrow. Now you're just being a pest. Which turnip truck did you just tumble out of, anyway? Who are you? Years in the future, but not many. This is probably a good stopping point for this episode. It's about to hit 25 minutes, and I don't know if I want to fart around and talk until it hits exactly 25 minutes, since YouTube's not going to count that last minute or second anyway. But me saying that's got me almost to the point of it being a full 25 minutes, so I might as well just let it go. 
the next episode will deal with who's been talking at John. Y'all should know who was talking at John. But thanks for listening.